chewing with your mouth closed is more than just proper etiquette. It's a matter of life or death. Directions to Wikiwachi State Park. Wikiwachi Springs State Park is one hour and 25 minutes from your location by car in light traffic. Here are your directions. Yeah, this place came highly recommended to me by a guy named Tim, who I met recently doing karaoke, as a matter of fact. It's about an hour and a half, and I'm gonna get some food along the way. I've done a lot here in Florida. I've really enjoyed bringing you guys along on this adventure. It's definitely gonna be a hot one today. Wikiwachi Springs State Park seems really interesting. I only literally looked at one image on the internet and I said, you know what, that's where I'm going. I have no idea what to expect. Okay, well I'm here and it turns out this place is kind of like a water park, amusement park with kayaking trails. This should be really cool. First thing I'm gonna do is remove my knife from my backpack because I don't think they will appreciate me bringing this bad boy in there. Nothing worse than trying to have a great adventure and then have somebody yell at you because you're doing something stupid. Okay, I'm in. Apparently there's a mermaid show going on at 1.30 and it's pretty close to that time, so I guess I'm gonna go try to take a look at that. The lady up front told me there's only one water slide open today and I don't think I'm gonna be doing that because I just, it's not why I'm here. For your own safety, we ask that you are pleased to remain seated throughout the entire show. This is when the theater lights come on and the curtain call is made. We'll be talking to you a little bit about the history of Wikiwachi, then I'll be turning you over to the mermaids for fish tales. It was very likely you might have read. I said that already. We know. We're so glad you made the trip. We're so glad you made the trip. Wikiwachi mermaids have learned to be in complete harmony with their underwater surroundings. All this may look easy, but it can take a year or more for mermaid trainees to evolve into the graceful, relaxed performers you see before you. Okay, that was pretty cool. There's a place kind of like that near Austin called Aqua Arena Springs. Had Ralph the Swimming Pig. All pigs can swim, by the way. But it had the mermaids just like those. It's cute. Well, it would appear that there's a peacock up in the bleachers. I don't know if he's the show or if he's waiting to see the show. Nothing going on over here though. <laughs> what are the odds I would come across that while doing this? Yeah, that's a pretty neat little place, but I don't think I'm going to spend my day here. It's a little small. It's kind of for children. I think I'm going to go ahead and take the plunge, get back on the road, and head straight to the coast. Get some beach footage, find a place to eat. I don't know. I want to do some hiking, exploring. I don't want to be in an amusement park today. Looks like Pine Island is going to be my best bet for the nearest beach area. There's a place called Pine Island Beach Park or something like that. It's about 17 minutes away from here, so let's hit it. I'll tell you guys what, it is super hot out there. I mean, I was only there for maybe a half hour and I was just completely covered in sweat. 
Feels good to be in the air conditioning. I got about five miles to go down this road before I hit the coast, and maybe I'll get a little bit more scenery. Just kind of playing it by ear, shooting from the hip on this one, like I always do. All right then, I made it to Pine Island Beach Park. It's a small little place, but it looks really cool. So let's just go walk around and see what it's all about. Nice little place to take a few hours and come and sit and play in some crystal clear water. Apparently they have dolphins and sharks and hammerheads around here, but I'm not fishing today, so I probably won't, won't see that. It's kind of small though. Well, again, it's a cool place. It's not what I was looking for today. I might have to cruise around and explore, see if there's anywhere else I can go get some sightseeing in. I think the wise thing to do would be to stop here at the Bayport Inn and get a nice cold beverage. Okay, well, I'm refreshed. I didn't get any food. I just had a beverage, an iced tea, and a yingling. And now I'm gonna get back on the road, try to salvage some left of this day. It's only about three o'clock. Hey, guess what? I'm not in the truck anymore. There's a little place that I saw. I was on my way back to Ocala, and I saw this sign. I think it's called Sun Coast Trail or something like that, so I pulled in. Turns out it's like a bicycle trail. I think I'm gonna go take a look at it, but first, I gotta do the right thing. Okay, I met some nice folks over here at this pavilion right after I did the little pay slot, and they just informed me that this trail that I'm on, even though it's paved, actually goes across the entire state of Florida. That's pretty remarkable. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna walk over here for a little bit and take a look at this cool bridge. It's a little bit windy out here, which is good because I'm sweating. And it's kind of cooling me off. But as I was walking up this bridge, I kind of looked behind me. I noticed there was some seemingly shady characters over there by that pavilion. And my truck's over there. I don't plan on going too far. I just wanted to take a look and check it out. I got to be honest with y'all. I'm tired today. I think this makes the sixth adventure I've gone on in six days. Filming it all, making these fun videos for you all to enjoy. I'm pooped. And now I got an hour and 20 minute drive back to Ocala. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That being the case, looks like I'm gonna cut this video short today. But hey, glad you came with me anyways. It's been a hoot. I'm looking forward to seeing what I do next. I'm sure you guys are enjoying this Florida scenery. I know I am. So thanks again for coming along with me. I'm really looking forward to putting these edits together. Until then, I am Clint. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your evening. You know, it's kind of funny. I spent $13 to get into one park, stayed there for about 30 minutes. And then I spent $5 to get into another park, stayed there for about 15 minutes. And then I just spent $3 to come to this park and stayed here for about 10 minutes. <laughs> it was worth it though, I'm not complaining. Okay, back to Ocala. Have a great evening.